Hello everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to another how to build video. In this video, I'm showing you how to build a completely working redstone bathroom. Now, ever since my first redstone house, my subscribers have always asked me if I could do a tutorial on an entire redstone house, and that would take way, 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 way too long. So I decided to start breaking these things up into parts. Now, I'm not going to be pumping them out left and right, left and right. But I thought I would start with one of the more harder things to do, and that's to build a redstone bathroom. Now, this is more mostly like a guest bathroom, I'd say, because I combined the shower stall and the bathtub together. But here is my redstone bathroom that I'm going to be showing today in this tutorial. You don't have to build it exactly like this, but this is the exact way I am going to be building this thing. Now, the first thing we should do is turn on the lights because it's really dark in here. So, boop, and there is the lights that come on. And then, of course, we could turn them off as well. So on and off light and then right over here to the right we have our sink that actually makes sound so if you've seen my most annoying sound thing ever well that's what it makes so boop and as you can hear this sink is now on and it is very very loud so i'm gonna go ahead and turn that off so we have a working sink now the only thing i didn't make working here which i've done in the past before is my working toilet bowl now the reason why i didn't do that is because i didn't want to make this thing huge with the working toilet bowl it would have had to be much bigger than this and i want to keep it kind of guest room size bathroom so i just went with a normal toilet bowl where you know click the button the lid goes up and the lid goes down we have our toilet paper roll over here is that working pantry closet that i made in my last video there we go we can go inside everything so you can put your towel in here you know soap things like that just extra things for your bathroom and then of course the main thing for this entire build is the working shower and bathtub so right here if we click this button our bathtub will fill up with water and if we click it again it will go away and then if we want to use the shower stall just click down this lever right here and then the shower stall will open up and then if we flip up the lever the shower stall will go away and then of course if you want to you can put the bath up and you can have the shower stall going but i don't know why you would ever do that in real life so let's go ahead and turn this off Oh, you know, let's go ahead and turn this one off first. So bloop, and then bloop, and there we have it. So that is the entire redstone bathroom. It's not that big, but we do have a few redstone builds we're going to have to go through. So here is the working sink. Here is the working lights. And then over here is our working shower stall and bathtub. So let's go ahead and start building this thing, guys. Pretty simple build, not too hard. And like I said, if you want to build it exact same way as I am, I'm going to do everything here down to the last little detail. All right, guys, so let's get started with this build. So the first thing we're going to do is put in our floor. I'm going to be using a birch planks as my flooring for my bathroom. Now, if you're putting this into a house you have already built, that's why I have this nice little wall right here. What we're going to do is go ahead and we're going to break out a little doorway. And then what we're going to do is count in at least two blocks from our doorway. So let's come over two from here. So let's go one, two, just like that. Now from this block right here, we're going to make a four by eight spacing. So go to the right hand side and then count up four blocks. So one, two, three, four, just like that. And then count the first block and count that way eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and eight so i'll recount it just to make sure it's eight so one two three four five six seven and eight so we have our four by eight spacing and now go ahead and just break out the rest of these blocks and we're going to go ahead and add in our flooring here so there we go now the reason why i came out two from the wall right there is just to add in the working pantry closet so we can put our towels and whatnot inside of there that is the only reason why we have to come out two on that side so I think the first thing we should do is knock out the biggest thing on our list, and that is the working shower and bathtub. That's definitely the hardest thing to build, just mainly because it's so big, and mostly the decorations are hard, not even the redstone's that hard. So for this bathtub, I used quartz blocks, and then for the redstone to make the bathtub work, we're going to need at least three dispensers, and we're going to need three water buckets, one, two, three, and then we're also going to need a button of your choice. I'm going to be using a wooden button, a piece of redstone, and that should be everything to make our bathtub work. So now to get things started off with our shower stall, or I should say our bathtub first, when we walk into our door, I want you to go all the way over here to the back left-hand corner. Now we're gonna go ahead and count over four blocks. So one, two, three, four blocks in, break this block right here, and place a piece of redstone down inside there. Next up, go ahead and take out your dispensers, and we're gonna place three dispensers right off the front of this redstone. So one, two, three and then place in your three dispensers one two three and then go ahead and go inside your dispensers and place in one water bucket on each one so boop boop and boop next up place in three quartz blocks right here so one two three and then off the middle one we're going to place in our button that will turn on and off our bathtub now all we have to do is just put blocks around it just to make sure everything is working so just place blocks all the way around it click your button the water comes out click your button again and the water will go off now it's time to place in our shower stall. So we can go to get rid of these. We are going to need this redstone. And we're going to go ahead now and take out a lever, a sticky piston, 
we're also going to need another bucket of water. And let's go ahead and just keep using our quartz blocks. So where is quartz blocks? And there they are. Right there. Not a coal block. A quartz block. So to get things started off with our shower stall, we're going to come over here to this block and place a sticky piston one away from it. Next up, come two blocks above your sticky piston. One, two. And then a block in. Make sure it's quartz or whatever color you're using for your shower stall because you will be able to see it. And place a lever off the side of it. Oh, you know what? We're also going to need a redstone torch. Next up, place a redstone torch off the backhand side of it. It will make your sticky piston extend. So now if we flip this down, it'll pull it away. And then we flip it up. It will extend it out. Now, I'm going to be using blue as my walling of choice. As you can see, I use blue over there. So we're going to place up whatever walling of choice you're using for your bathroom. You're going to place up a block right here. And you're also going to place up another one back here as well. But it really doesn't matter what's back here. Next, we're going to flip down your lever. And we're actually going to dig down one more block right here. And then go ahead and change up the color in here to whatever you like. That's just going to be the drain for the water to go down so it doesn't like go all over the place when you open up your shower stall. Next up, just go ahead and reflip up your lever. Place a block on top of this redstone torch. A piece of redstone on top of it. And then a sticky piston facing inwards towards that lever off your redstone. So, boop, like that. It should extend out. Next up, you're going to have to place a block of choice in front of the sticky piston. Now, I made my entire top. Oh, actually, did I show it? I made my entire top area for my bathroom uh, sea lanterns. You can use whatever you want, though. But see, as you can see, they're all sea lanterns. So, I'm going to go ahead and put a sea lantern in front of that sticky piston that I just placed up there. And, man, I could not get out of that bathroom. So, bloop, like that. And then we're going to be placing our water right on top of this sea lantern. So I'm going to go ahead and place a block of quartz here, here. Uh, the only reason I'm using quartz is because you can see inside of it when it opens up. So like that, like that, like that. Break the middle block. Place it in your water bucket. And then I also like to place in just one more sea lantern right above it. And that's the working shower stall. So when I flip this down, boop, the water comes down. And then when I flip it up, the water goes away. So now all you have to do is just clean up the area. So take out your quartz blocks or whatever color you're using. And we're going to go ahead and just wrap it all the way around here. Come all the way back over and keep wrapping until you reach leveled with that sea lantern right there. You have to make sure you're completely leveled to the sea lantern just like that. That's what you want. You want it to be all the way up to your sea lantern. And then we're going to come place two more in like that. And then what I also did was I placed in a window back here. Now, now this window is supposed to be like a fogged out window. I do have these in my own shower stalls in my own house. That's why I know what they are. Uh, I know Minecraft really doesn't have fogged out windows. So I just went ahead and I used a gray stained glass pane just like that. Next up, just go ahead and take out your walling blocks once again and just place up your walling blocks here. And your walling blocks here. And now what I also did was I took out a slab, a quartz slab right here. There we go. And I placed quartz slabs upside down right off this top area like this. And then I also had the opened curtain. Now, if you do not have uh, banners in your world, it doesn't matter. You do not need banners for this. It just makes it look a little bit better in my opinion because it looks like an open shower stall. But if you do have them, just take out a white banner. Then you're going to take out some lapis lazuli. And then we're also going to need a crafting bench. I am playing on console, so this is how I'm going to have to craft it. But we're going to go into my crafting bench. Go over to your banners. Go ahead and click Y on your banner. Go over to the ones that have lines on them and go down until you find the blue one. And then go ahead and add in as many layers as you possibly can. Then go ahead and just take out your banner. And now we can go ahead and place it in. Now, I also used a dark oak fence for this part. So place a dark oak fence right here. And then place your banner in like this. And there you have it. There is the shower stall completely done. Now, if you don't want to use a boundary, you can also use just glass panes. Just put glass panes on this side and glass panes on that side, and it looks absolutely fine. But now we can go ahead and take a bath like this. Bloop. Now we are taking a bath. And then we click the button. The water will go away. And then, of course, if I flip down this lever, it will open up and let the water... Oop, you notice that right there? See, I did not put blocks all the way around. We're also going to have to add in a few more quartz blocks right here and right here just so we can't see absolutely anything. But there's the hardest thing out of the way. So, boop and boop. Next up, let's go ahead and just make our toilet and our uh, toilet paper roll. So what we're going to do now is take out a quartz block once again. We're also going to need a quartz staircase. So where's the quartz staircase? There they are. And we're also going to need a wooden trap door. And then I'm just going to take out my blue for my walling. So I'm just going to wrap this right around my flooring like that. Like that. There we go. And then we go ahead and add in the toilet. My, now my toilet is one away from the left corner. So we're going to place in a quartz stair backwards towards our wall like this. And then place in a block of quartz right on top. That's going to be the tank to your toilet. And then we're going to place another quartz stair next to this one, upside down, with a wooden trap door off the front of it. Next up, just go ahead and take out a button and place a button off the side of it. And there's the toilet. Now, to make the toilet paper roll over here, what we're now going to need is a item frame. And now, I used the bone block for this part. You don't need to use a bone block. Just use any white block. It really doesn't matter. And then I also used a wooden button. Or did I? Did I use a wooden button? I'm pretty sure. You know, I'm just going to say I used a wooden button for this part. So, go ahead and place your item frame here. 
place your bone block in here and then turn it around so you can see the sides like the dark corner right here because it kind of looks like a toilet paper roll when it's uh turned to the side and then go ahead and place your button right off the block behind it just like that and there is your toilet paper roll and toilet completely done Next up, we're gonna go ahead and do the working pantry closet. Now for this, I'm gonna be using bookshelves. You can use whatever color you want, but I think bookshelves looks the best. And then we're gonna go ahead and just take out a piston, a redstone block, and we're also going to need minecarts with chests, and we're also going to need some powered rails. Now, you don't have to use power rails also, but I feel like the power rails look a little bit better. Now we're gonna come over here to this corner, and let's go ahead and just wrap our wall around like this. Wa wrap your wall all the way around you know let's go ahead and just bring it all the way up we might as well just bring it all the way up on this side so just bring your wall all the way up so it is flush to the wall for your uh bathtub and shower stall so right over here is where our working pantry closet is going to be going right here is where the working pantry closet is going to be going so to get things started off go ahead and place in your blocks and then place in your rails like this make sure your rails are facing this way and then go ahead and place it in a micro with a chest and then break it and let it fall into place and then do the same thing on this side as well place it in now make sure it's inside the wall as you can see i can see part of the minecart right here make sure it's inside the wall so just keep breaking it until it's inside the wall and then go ahead and break it and let it fall into place now we're going to go ahead and place in our bookshelves right here one two take out your pistons and place a piston facing inwards towards it like that do the same thing on this side make sure your piston is facing inwards towards it and then go ahead and just send power to them pushing them into place now we're going to go ahead and do that one more time so let's go ahead and break these two blocks up here place two blocks above it place in two rails place in your minecart with chest break it let it fall into place same thing here make sure it's inside the wall though break and let it fall into place place in your two bookshelves one two just like that and then go ahead and place in your piston facing towards it so boop and do the same thing on this side as well place in your piston facing towards it boop like that and then go ahead and just send power to it and it'll push everything into place and now you're completely done so now we can go ahead and access every single one of these mine carts in here there we go and now i also use spruce stores oh wait spruce stores did i use spruce stores for these i'm pretty sure yeah spruce stores and then we're gonna go ahead and place in two spruce stores like this make sure they're both facing the same uh you know opening ways see this looks horrible like this <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and break this door place it in again and there we have it the working pantry closet and then also in this corner, what I went ahead and did was I took out a cauldron and then I took out some jungle leaves and I placed a cauldron and two jungle leaves just like that. Next up, we're just going to place in the rest of this wall right here. And we're also going to add in that little table. So for the table, we're going to go ahead and take out some quartz stairs and quartz slabs. And we're going to take out our blue once again to fill in our walling right here. So there we go. We can just fill this whole thing in. Then place in a quartz stair right here upside down. A quartz stair right here upside down. And then one slab in the middle. Then we're gonna go ahead and take out a flower pot and also a oxide daisy and place one right here and then an oxide daisy inside of the flower pot. All right, guys, so next up, let's go ahead and get our working uh, sink out of the way. Now, this is the only thing that shouldn't work on Pocket Edition just because they don't have armor stands yet. But what we're gonna do is come right over here to this corner. So let's go ahead and just wrap our wall around like that and then two in. So we're gonna come out two from the right-hand corner right here. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and just take out a quartz block and a lever, and this is going to be where our sink starts right here. We don't have to put in the cauldron or anything right now. So what we're gonna be building is that annoying sound. I've made a video on it. You don't really need to see it because you're gonna see everything right here. It's a pretty small uh, little contraption, but it makes an annoying sound that sounds like running water or static on a TV, or just, it just sounds really loud and it's very, very annoying. So we're gonna go ahead and, and take out an armor stand. We are also, you know, let's just put in our armor stand first. Let's take out an armor stand, a piston, a redstone block, we're also going to need a fence post of any kind. It really doesn't matter. We're also going to need another rack block, a bucket of water, and we're also going to need a slab. So that should be everything just to get the armor stand in. So to get our armor stand in, what we're going to do is come out two blocks from here. So one, two, and we're going to place a fence post right here. Next, I'll place an armor stand next to it with a piston facing inwards towards your armor stand, and then go ahead and send power to it, pushing the armor stand into place. Next up, break your piston, break your redstone block, and then right underneath this armor stand, we're going to break down two blocks underneath this fence post. So one, two, and we're going to place our slab. Go ahead and break the fence post. It's no longer needed, but make sure you break the fence post and not the armor stand, or you're going to have to put everything back into place. Then break the two blocks underneath the armor stand, one, two, and place in your water. Now we're going to take out our netherrack, place our netherrack one block away from our armor stand, place a piston facing inwards towards the netherrack, and then go ahead and just send power to it. And then break your piston, break your redstone block, and everything is in place. Next up, what you're going to have to do is take out a redstone torch. And then off the back of the block that has your lever, place in a redstone torch like that. And then we have to place a piston facing downwards towards this netherrack block. So take out your piston and right off the redstone block, place it in like that. And it will push down just like so. So now when I flip down this lever, bloop, the piston will retract. Flip it up and it will extend. Retract, extend. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is place it in a dispenser right here next to it. So let's go ahead and place a block right here. 
and take out a dispenser. Make sure it's a dispenser, not a dropper. So dispenser. Place your dispenser facing inwards. And then we're also going to need a flint and steel. So take out a flint and steel and place it inside your dispenser. Next up, place a slab in upside down next to your dispenser with redstone on top of it. So take out some redstone, place it right on top of that slab. Next up, place a block next to the slab. So you know, I'm just going to go ahead and place in two slabs boop, boop, with a piece of redstone on top of it. And then a redstone torch off the side of it, just like that. And that should be everything completely done. So now when I flip down the lever, it'll make that really loud and annoying sound that sounds like running water. And then when I flip it up, it will go away. So now all we have to do is just put in our cauldron and our water, and that will be our sink. So place in your cauldron, place in your water, and there's your sink, guys. So boop. And boop. Next up, go ahead and take out a quartz block. Take out item frames. And also take out, I believe it was, I think I used iron doors. I believe it was iron doors. Can't really remember, but take out some iron doors. Place a quartz block right next to your sink. Place an item frame on bo both of them. Take out your iron trap door and face it sideways and do the same thing here. And that's going to be like little cabin areas you can open up. And then next up, if you can take out a banner and we're going to need a white banner for this part. And we're going to place it off the side of here. So it looks like a little tiny towel off the side of the sink. Next up, just take out your blue once again, or whatever color you're using for your bathroom. And we're going to go ahead and just finish off the rest of this wall. So finish it all off like that, like that, like that. And then just wrap it all the way around to over here. Like so there we go. And then I believe I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that I put a painting right here. Just a uh, one painting like that. I'm, I'm not 100% sure if I did that. You know, I'm going to go check. And now it's annoying me. Did I do that? Did I put a painting there? Yes, yes, I did. <laughs> oh, and I forgot my uh, towel and my mat on the floor. <laughs> That's supposed to be a towel hanging up on the side and a mat on the floor. So uh, for the towel on the side, I used a light gray banner. And then for the mat in front of it, where you can dry your feet off once you get out of the shower, I use light gray carpet. So boop, boop, boop. And then here is my towel, just like that. Now it's looking good. This is looking like a good bathroom. Did I, did I put anything on this wall here? I feel like I did. I feel like there's something supposed to be there. Nope, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> I keep forgetting on what I put and where I put it. So now it's looking like a really, really good bathroom. So now all we have left to do is just put in our working lights. So go ahead and take out a button and place a button right off of this block. And we're going to need now redstone torches. And then let's also go ahead and take out a color. Let's go ahead and just use, I guess, pink. So now right off the back of this block that has our button right here. So I believe it's this block, is it? I honestly cannot remember what block. You know, let's go ahead and just break it like this. So it's one, two, three blocks in. So there we go. So it's right here. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i put this all back in later on. But I just wanted to make sure where my button is. So boop, torch goes off. Perfect. Place a block on top of the redstone torch with another redstone torch on top of the block. Now we're going to go ahead and take out some droppers. So we're going to need three droppers for this part. One, two, three. And we're also going to need a hopper. So next up, what I want you to do is place a dropper facing upwards off this redstone torch. And now we're going to place another dropper facing inwards toward this one. So just place a block next to that redstone torch with a dropper facing inwards like that. And then on top of this dropper, we're going to place another dropper facing towards this one right here. Oh, yeah. If you don't know how to do this, all you have to do is just go into sneak mode. So crouch mode, sneak mode, whatever you want to call it. Just crouch and placing your dropper. And then going into the top of this dropper, we're going to place in our hopper by going into crouch mode once again. So we have a dropper going into a dropper. Going into a dropper, into a hopper, so on and so forth. And then inside of, I guess, pretty much any one of these, it really doesn't matter. Just place in one item. So I'm going to go ahead and just place in my armor stand. There we go. Perfect. And then right next to the bottom dropper right here, we're going to place a block. Take out a redstone comparator and place a redstone comparator coming out of the top dropper. So as you see right now, it's off. But when I click this button, boop, it comes on. Click the button. It goes off. And then click the button and it comes on. And that's going to be our T flip flop. So now all you have to do is hook this up into our redstone lamps so to get things started off with our lights what i use for my ceiling is white hardened clay we're also going to need some redstone lamps and we're also going to need some redstone and a repeater so now what we're going to do is fill in our entire ceiling with our white stained clay so go ahead and just fill in your whole ceiling first there we go just fill the entire area up all the way to the end there we have it. And then let's go ahead and just go inside of it and place in our lamps. So right off the front two, right next to our sink, we're going to place in lamps right here. So break these two blocks and place two lamps. And then right over here, we're going to place in two lamps on this side as well. So now we can come up here and we can place in our redstone going to those lamps. So place a repeater coming out of your comparator and then place two pieces of redstone like that. And then bring over your other redstone to right over here, just like so. And that's it, guys. Your lights are hooked up. So when we click the button, lights go off, click the button again, and your lights will come back on. Next up, we're going to go ahead and take out some quartz slabs and some iron trapdoors. Placing two quartz slabs right here 
one, two, with your two iron trapdoors off of them. And same thing on this side, two quartz slabs, and then two iron trapdoors, just like that. And the bathroom is now 100% completely done. All we have to do now is just add in our door and fix this walling over here. So bloop, and bloop, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to figure out where I put it. So there we go, fix all of this like that. There we go. And then we're gonna place in our dark oak door, just like so. And guys, that's it. You are 100% done with this bathroom. As you can see, it's a complete replica of the one over there. So when we click the button, lights will go off. Oh, what, what, what was that sound? Where did that come from? Lights come on. Oh, that's why. Okay, that is why. Okay, never mind. Come back up here. I messed up. The redstone's not supposed to be going on to the lamps themselves. I forgot I did that. What you're going to have to do is take out your redstone and place it next to the lamps like that. That's what I did. I was trying to figure out why I did that in the first place. But there we go. So now when we click the button... Lamps will go off, click the button, lamps will come on. And then of course, working sink, boop, turn it off. And then over here, of course, is our working bathtub so we could fill it up with our water. And then we can get rid of the water. And then the working shower stall, flip this down. It will open up and it will open up the drain. Flip it up and it will go away. And there is our toilet with our working pantry closet right next to it but there you guys have it. that is how you build a completely working redstone bathroom if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos and if you also have an idea of a room you would like me to try my hands at i guess <laughs> make sure to comment it in the section below all right guys peace